Now is the right time to make changes. Interesting. <laughs> so, so Niederberg um, itself, it's uh, first of all a very beautiful farm. So um, he has also um, a lot, lot to do. Um, although it's very hot in Pal, you can still enjoy the outside by sitting under the trees with a nice glass of bubbly or a nice chilled a um, glass of wine. Niederberg itself has a very rich history. So it's a privilege and honor working for Niederberg and the winery um, itself. So we, um, in my team specific, we are 16. So um, 16 people in the red wine, wine team um, that consists of our 12 seller assistants, our two uh, a team leaders, um, me, the assistant winemaker, and our um, red winemaker. And then we have on the white side as well, and our cellar master, Samuel Fillion. So at Niederberg, we source our um, grapes from top performing uh, vineyards in the Western Cape um, area. So we do have our uh, viticulturist that she works hand in hand with um, the wine growers, so she will will go to the vineyards and and go and select the, the specific specific grapes. So most of our grapes we we buy in. We cater for every palate. We do have a selection of our foundation uh, range, classic range, up to our our premium range, our two centuries, our private bins. The private bin is one of our premium range, so um, we select that, that grapes from a specific vineyards, and then um, it gets like a, go through the whole winemaking winemaking process. It gets fermented in open tubs, and after the fermentation, it goes into first fill French oak barrels for. Um, around about 20, 28 months, and after that, um, yeah, uh, firstly after the first uh, reckon return, it goes to barrel for around about 28 months, and we it age, and after that it um, gets a, a blended. Um, firstly, a barrel selected, each barrel gets gets tasted, and then we will decide which barrels goes into the the uh, private bin. And then after that, the wine um, gets blended and we then um, prepare it for, for bottling. Wine excites me because wine is a form of art. Like if, uh, for me personally, you uh, get your, your canvas and your paint brushes and you do a painting and it's art. But for me, wine is also art because you can, um, you get your grapes and then you can, can play around with it in the cellar and you get your hands dirty and um, yeah and then eventually it goes into into the bottle and people can can enjoy it so a uh, blending i think is the most uh, exciting exciting part at um, because you uh, need to taste like all of your wines in the cellar and then you have to um, uh, blend it by percentages so yeah, so so it's a nice uh, um, nice exercise to to do when you when you blend blend wines. Yeah, like I've mentioned, we um, at Niederberg cater for for every palate. So we have from our sweet wines, moving up to our more full full bodied wines. So um, I think personally, the young people, um, I might be under yeah speaking under correction, like it more more sweeter more more easy drinking wine so um, especially for for red wines that 
um, has more, more tenants. So people, the younger people, I assume they don't, don't like that, um, that grippiness of the, of the tenon. That's why they prefer more um, sweeter, sweeter um, red wines. But I think with age, you um, will definitely enjoy a more bolder, um, full, full wine. So the first wine we're going to taste is our wine master's Grenache uh, uh, Carignan. It's our 2023 vintage, so the wine was produced this, this year. So it has like a lovely um, colour, um, just a little bit of background about the wine. The grapes were sourced, the Grenache grapes were sourced mainly in the Wellington um, area and a little bit from the Swatland and the uh, Karian was um, sourced from Darling, Darling area. So on the colour, it has like a nice um, onion skin and on the, the nose you will get like your um, strawberry, your berry um, flavours. On the taste, The wine is quite fresh, crisp, um, with a nice balanced acidity, and that will go very well with um, your creamy, creamy foods. Um, and as well, you can um, just enjoy this um, as is on a nice summer, summer hot day, nice and chilled. I'm coming from the Northern Cape a small town called Steinkopf. In my matric year, I went to Germany as an exchange student. There at my house family, we were having like wines with dinner. I was exposed to different kinds of wines. And when I got home, then after my matric year, I took a gap year because I wasn't sure what to go and study. So I took a gap year and um, I did like a computer course for that year. And then I did a little bit of research about wine. And then I came across the Elsenberg Agricultural Institute. So I did apply and I was accepted. And yeah, and that is where it all, all started. But then it took a little turn because after I did um, two harvests, I took, um, I went more into the quality side, like more lab uh, work. And then after about, I think like seven, five, five, seven years, I decided I want to go back into making wine. So, and then I applied for this position and yeah, so December I will be, this will be my second year at Niederberg. Um, I actually <laughs> get goosebumps now because just thinking about harvest time. Um, I think for me personally, it's the favorite time of the year for the winemakers to physically or to be in the cellar to to get your hands dirty, to, to work with the guys on the floor, um, to, yeah, it's just like, it's exciting. You can experiment um, with some techniques in, in the cellar. Um, yeah, so for me, it's, it's, it's the most exciting, exciting time um, during harvest in the cellar. It's challenging, it's very challenging because there is some, some challenges that we need to face, but we conquer that. We have a strong team. I have a strong team behind me. We, we are a great, great team. So yeah, for me, it's, yeah, it's the most exciting time. I, I think, yeah, because we are three um, 
ladies in the, the cellar. So Nashka, that is the head winemaker for Red. Uh, myself, that is the assistant red winemaker, and we have Jamie as the assistant white winemaker. And our viticulturist is also a female, so Isabel Tibas. So um, for me, yes, I think we do bring a, a different dynamic to, to the team. Um, yeah, and, and it's exciting to, to, um, to be part in this, in this team. We, um, yeah, like I said, it's, it's challenging to be a mom and a winemaker and working late hours and you have a family, but um, it's, still, it's still exciting. So the next wine we are having is our Niederberg Baron. It is um, also its um, 50th anniversary, the Niederberg Baron 50th anniversary. So it's quite an achievement, excitement regarding this specific wine, specific brand of Niederberg. Um, the consistency that is for the past 50 years. So for us, it's quite an achievement and for me, it's also exciting. Recently, we received quite a few awards for the Baron, which we are very excited about. But one that we are extremely proud of is the Trophy Wine Show, um, where we received 91 points. So you can't go wrong with buying a bottle of Baron. So the Baron is a Cab, Benet, Sauvignon and Shiraz blend. You, um, on the nose, you will get your nice um, plums, your, your dark fruit from your um, your Cabernet um, Sauvignon, as well as a little bit of spice from your Shiraz. On your taste, it's um, quite smooth. It's your easy drinking, your everyday drinking wine. So for me personally, it's, it's the way people enjoy the wine, the way people engage with the wine is so humbling and exciting. And for us as, as a team, it just brings so much a, a joy for, for the work that we, we are doing, the, the winemaking, um, the planning, the blending, um, they say you can't choose between your kids, but for us, it's like our special child. Um, the detail going into it, the um, determination, the um, consistency, because for the last 50 years, um, people still enjoy their baron. There's so much stories that the people um, share when they have their first um, glass of, of Baron, or people um, are saying that um, they, um, when they were introduced into, into wine, the first wine they had was a glass of, of Baron. So stories like, like that is just, just heartwarming. Um, for me personally, I prefer a glass with, with a stem. Your hand will actually warm your your glass and and warm your wine as as well. So, yeah, for me personally, I I um, prefer a, a glass with with a stem. First of all, what is your uh, personal preferences um, to start collecting wine? Is it um, for for aging purposes? 
um, for how long are you planning to, to age your wine? Um, is it um, just for, for a hobby? Do you want to still want to drink, eventually drink your wine? So, and then the storage is also very, very important. Just recently at the WineX, we were showing our 2011 um, Two Centuries Cabernet Sauvignon. And that wine was the showstopper because the people, they were enjoying the wine. We had the 2019 as well at the stand, but just the aging of that wine, it was just phenomenal because the storage temperature is, is very important for your, for your wines. If you want to store your wine, please make sure that you do research on how to store your wine, at what temperature to store your wine, because you can't just store your wine on your kitchen shelf. So what will be happening at Niederberg um, over the festive season is the Christmas market that will start from the 29th of November until the 3rd of December. And then every Saturday we do have the stoop sessions with um, live music that starts from 3 until 6. Now is the right time to make changes. Currently, I'm in a very happy place and space, so I don't think I will be making any changes, but we don't know what the future holds. Maybe there will be um, changes in the next year. Cheers. <laughs>